She's a lady. She's a woman. She is love. She is love. She's a lady. She's a cancer. Morning. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Mariam Nabuja, the Ladies Guide, your emotional wellness guide. Every Monday morning, giving you the seven minutes of inspiration, seven minutes to improve your emotion, seven minutes to empower your life, seven minutes to improve the way you feel. This is a feelings channel, a channel where you you watch videos and then you feel good. <laughs> Whether you're heartbroken or you're looking for some answers to figure out. Uh, your life that's this is the channel where you're going to find useful content that is going to grow your emotional self as well as your mental self uh just to remind you that man is a total, book, a total sum of books you read the people you meet as well as the information you consume from time to time that's where your growth comes from so be careful of what information you're consuming from time to time because it impacts your emotional i mean your mental uh growth as well as your wellness so previously we looked at evaluating your emotions the tips on how to evaluate your emotions and we said your emotions are either positive or negative every time you wake up in the morning and our take home last week was every time you wake up in the morning and you're in the negative state of mind that emotion that makes you feel drained depressed anxious we said just switch just like this and how do you switch by feeling good doing the things you love Right now we are at the Kampala Shorten Hotel, one of our partners who have been who have been with us throughout this ladies' guide journey for over 10 years. This has been our place and this is our home. So at Kampala Shorten Hotel, we offer you many amazing things, especially towards the Valentine's Day. This is a place where your love has to flourish. So we are at the Lion's Lounge right now. This is where I'm having my breakfast every Monday morning because I discovered my life purpose. <laughs> So, at Campus Hotel, you will have amazing experience when you do business with them. Your bridal shower, baby shower, wedding anniversary, wedding reception, wedding etc. Anything concerned with celebration, please come and celebrate it at this place because it's a way home away from home. You feel home, definitely, every time you are at the Campus Shorton Hotel. So, in today's session we are looking at um, keep your mind clear keeping the mind very clear you see it's very hard to operate effectively and efficiently when you are cluttered this that school fees what etc everything is on your head and it's not on paper it's in the head many people are stressed out in life many of you are too stressed most of the time you're not happy you don't enjoy leisure you don't you don't relax because you lack clarity of the mind why is your mind not clear because it is cluttered with clutter we mean just think of a room with clothes shoes here and there when it's not organized when the mind is not organized just like a file and fold of sorts you end up acting wrongly you do things wrong things at the right time and right things at the wrong time always mismatching the time on when you do things that's why many of you do things which you think are right but it's always late you either do it late or you do it earlier because the mind is full of a lot of information and it's not organized so decluttering the mind makes it clear okay you keep the head clear when it is organized and how do you organize your mind there is no other way just have a list we are back to the list remember when i talk about the list when uh when when i told you that when somebody has no list you do things which you're not supposed to do and you use emotions in decisions so when you when someone promises to call you write it down when you're supposed to call somebody write it down it is yeah it is as strict as that when you're supposed to do certain things make a list when you move into the day have a small list where you don't doubt things you're not supposed to do Meaning that the brain is free now to get new information. Every time you don't write down and you don't have that list, you will act on things impulsively. Things which are not important will, be, will take precedence 
and uh, you think you're doing the right thing because you're acting on them yet actually there is no productivity in this so most of the time you are not productive because you are doing a lot of things which are not important in real time so the only way to declutter your mind or to keep the head clear is to keep this list the list will give you a number of priorities what to do first and what to do last not everything needs your attention because i told you in that video called control attention everything needs your attention but is it the right thing to give your attention to a certain thing as simple as that so today we are learning that decluttering the mind removing the junk in your head including journaling yes if something is you generally don't remove it from your head so that the computer is very clear to act on some other things than just things that are urgent but not important so today our take home is learn to declutter the mind to keep your head clear to act on new things that come in than keeping a lot of things in your head and making the head like your you know where you write everything you don't write it down you don't get it out of your of, the, of your head on paper then you keep the list on the head it doesn't work that way so meaning that you can actually move in the supermarket when you've gone to buy certain things and you'll buy things you don't even need by the time you realize that you don't even have cooking oil that's when you reach home and you're like wow i wanted also this because you didn't write it down so have a list okay a list saves the mind from clutter and before we leave i need to remind you of the programs we have in 2024 discover your life purpose that is where you're going to learn who you are where you're going what you live for and why you're here on earth uh number two we have the emotional intelligence masterclass understanding your emotions and how they affect your life as well as understanding other people's emotions and how to relate well with them number three we have the young adults guy the young adults between the age of 18 to 30 we have a meeting okay decisions in life you make impact your older days okay decisions you make in your love life your relationship life impact your other uh, i mean your older days so young adults guide is confidence building self-esteem relationship and sex guide how to take life decisions yes because you you like you're in the crossroads of your life where to go what to do <laughs> which careers to take let's guide you into that kind of uh, ideology and lastly we have the narcissistic survivor's guide you survive narcissism you lived with a narcissist you fell in love with a narcissistic partner and then the relationship ended but don't forget ending a, a narcissistic relationship not only changes you but it changes everything around your life so in the narcissistic survivor uh, guide we are giving you a step-by-step -step program on how to recover fully into a healthy functioning mind where life begins after narcissism and like i said in my book emotional happiness life begins after narcissism when you get out of the narcissistic relationship that's when your life gets started once again so then join the class and then you'll have this amazing journey on the narcissistic survivor guide thank you and once more i'm mariam nabuja that is guide very passionate about your life when it comes to emotional wellness love you so much and bye bye